still come John Wick. Congratulations. Okay, now you said what did you get SpongeBob a million chickens versus a million Okay, let's change this map as well. Old cemetery, sure. <laughs> In honor of the uh here lies Squidward's hopes and dreams. Hi <laughs> Squidward.exe. Ah yes. Thank you for posting that link that everybody should click. Now this might take a few minutes to load, so we'll see. Hi, Squidward. Hi, Squidward. Oh, Hi, Squidward. we're going to have to listen to that the whole time. Yeah, I'm going to turn off the game sound because I'm sure nobody wants to listen to that for the next who knows how long. Ooh, wait, chickens. Okay. <laughs> you didn't beat the link, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that High Squidward sound just plays repeatedly, so yeah, make sure to cast your vote. The link can't be reached. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, so some of these chickens are going to have to go through a bit of a maze in order to get to the battlefield. Uh, oh, so the whole battle will be taking place inside of the cemetery. Nice. Looks like 40 points on Spongebob. I don't know why Spongebob's kind of green looking, but anyways, there's Spongebob. Did we tell you that there's an entire Spongebob movie? I think you mentioned it, yeah. That's crazy, though. <laughs> the entire movie got leaked. Has that movie been, like, since officially released, or...? Was it like a new new movie? It's completely new. Wait for next week. Pause. That's amazing. They released this August. Well, <laughs> you can watch it. So you can watch the pirate version, and then you can watch the legit version. So <laughs> watch it both times. <laughs> That's very exciting, though. And it's cursed. Is it cursed in a good way, or is it like not a good way? I'm going to close predictions and fire this thing up. Go. I forgot what Spongebob's main attack is. Only <laughs> reason to check is that. Okay, sounds good. We'll watch it together. Uh, possibly not sober. <laughs> it's bad. Oh no. Oh, wow, the Spongebob's are getting eliminated pretty quickly. But the chickens do have a range advantage, so the Spongebob can push through the chickens. They might win this, but the chickens do have a range advantage, so they just have to kind of use a wall of bodies to keep the Spongebob's back. And I think the tickets may win this. <laughs> Spongeboy me, Bob. Yes. <laughs> this is not looking good for the SpongeBob team, but that's okay. This is still early. It does look like the SpongeBobs are starting to flank the chickens on this side. <laughs> and then over here, there's this kind of hill in the way. It looks like the chickens are also using to their advantage. But yeah, these chickens are kind of like blocking the way and kind of creating a barricade so these chickens back here could fire on them. Uh, Good strategy. War of attrition. <laughs> Never fails. And then there's all these like chickens here like, ah, I may not actually have to fight. <laughs> oh yeah, these in these these giant pools of blood starting to form, which units can actually drown in if they stay in too long, so these SpongeBob's had better move. You know, by a couple of stray eggs are getting fired in this direction. <laughs> Wrong way, pal. Yeah. Yeah. And you can see the pools are really starting to build up, so the chickens might lose some units to just drowning in pools of blood. Which I think is exactly what we're seeing with all this splashing, or not. Mm -hmm. And of course the SpongeBob units are just using the tried and true method of just throwing units at the problem until you eventually run into people to throw at the problem, or win. Classic World War One strategy. <laughs> ah, Google Lagoon. The undersea beach looking a lot more red now. Yes it is. Wait a minute, SpongeBob doesn't know how to swim. This is not canon. Oh, shoot. My Wii mat fell down. I had it on my shelf, but it fell off the shelf. So, that's fun. Oopsie, yes. But uh, it didn't look like anything got damaged, so it should be okay. I think these Spongebobs are stuck on this ridge. Look at all those eggs. Yeah, so the Spongebobs were winning at first, or the chickens were definitely winning at first, but it looks like the Spongebobs are starting to catch up now. Um, yep. Because they're getting fired upon, but it looks like they are crunching through the chickens faster than the chickens are crunching through them. So, now that they get the Spongebobs, I guess, are in a position where they can actually fight the chickens, they're starting to inflict a lot more casualties than uh, when they were far apart and getting knocked back by the projectiles. Spongebobby boy, I'm being posted by 100 eggs and I'm going to drown in a flood. Arg, 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 arg. Yes, you don't remember that Spongebob episode of Spongebob? Yes, it looks like the Spongebobs are getting ready to flank the chickens, but the chickens may in fact be the ones to flank the Spongebob, unless they can form a line here. 
looks like a lot of the units are rushing to do. I don't know if they're like programmed to follow such strategies, but uh, mm -hmm. or just if it's just sheer coincidence that they just run at each other to prevent flanking. But yeah, so they do have a thinned out quite a bit here. So if the chickens can push through, then uh, it would be bad news for the SpongeBob because then they have two fronts for this battle. So it looks like they're uh, able to thicken out their walls a little bit. <laughs> so that's good news for them. Uh, definitely a weak point here, but I think they'll be able to recover from that or fortify that a little bit better. Anyways, yeah, now it looks like the uh, casualties are starting to even out a little bit. And yeah, in the cemetery, yeah, the cemetery is not going to be a place where the SpongeBob's will do well because they can only attack so many units at once. Well, the chickens are able to inflict a lot. Well, they're, the SpongeBob's are getting bottlenecked, so they're getting pelted by. Egg. So this is not a very good battlefield for the SpongeBob. So uh, I'm no expert, but I don't think this is a good thing for the SpongeBob. But yeah, back to over here. Uh, looks like things are okay. Now here, there's like all the chickens are concentrating their fire on this one person here. Oh, that kind of sucks. Uh, and it looks like the chickens might be flanking the SpongeBob on this side soon, which would be bad news because it doesn't look like there's anybody coming to reinforce this side, so it might get surrounded. But it looks like some more people are coming this way, so maybe they're starting to reinforce that side. Uh, time will tell. <laughs> Look at this battlefield. I just have to be the person to clean this up afterwards. <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty even match. Oh, it does look like they're getting quite a bit thinned out on the sides, so yeah, what it's like to behold, indeed. Yeah, the chickens are definitely overpowering them on the flanks, which is not good for the SpongeBob. It doesn't look like they're really sending many other units over here to kind of reinforce this area, so Shortly, these chickens are going to swing around with <laughs> all these dead Spongebobs. Oh dear. Okay, so it does look like more Spongebobs are coming to the rescue, which is good. What a sight to behold, indeed. Nothing really interesting going on over here in the middle. Yeah, these Spongebobs are getting bottlenecked. Yeah, things are going pretty smoothly right now. A little too smoothly. And so, just because... Oh, hello! Is he JP, I think, is your name? Welcome! Uh, right now we have a million chickens fighting a million Spongebobs. And it's a surprisingly even battle. Well, looks like the SpongeBob's are pulling ahead. So, yeah, we're just about to uh, shake things up a little bit. I, you know, there we go. Now I did that right on the front line, right? So it's uh, it's even for both sides. Look at all those puddles. Oh, I think we actually just did kill all the chickens on this side. Uh, we may have just given this battle to the SpongeBob's. Whoop. Oh well. I think that killed a lot more spot chickens than the SpongeBob. That's okay. Oh, and it looks like the flank over here, the chickens were not able to flank SpongeBob. They reinforced the side, so yeah. Japanese viewer and someone who is a samurai. Sam samurai battle against something else. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I don't know if there are samurai in this game, but uh, we'll see if we can make do with something else for sure in the next battle. Absolutely. Yeah, let's do it. Um, so our first battle was like, I think like an evolution test we did uh a million chickens versus like a thousand t-rexes and the chickens dominated there should be some kind of samurai somewhere yeah sounds good i would think so too yeah <laughs> yeah that's true there are mods for this game so if there's not anything in the menu then i'll look at the steam store to see if we can find a mod quickly of a samurai but yeah we will i'll do my best to get the samurai in some kind of battle for you yeah probably does if, if it's not in the game already Oh, and thank you very much for the follow. Really appreciate it. Uh, I guess I'll check the Steam store on my phone uh, and see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, I hope you're having a great day. Uh, yeah. I never forget how to use this app on the phone. Great back. Sure thing. Thank you for the lurk. You don't know much about this game? Well, that's okay. It's basically a game where you put two giant armies of random things, or many armies of random things against each other, and sit back and watch them fight to the death, uh, and just completely coat the landscape in red. So uh, as a streamer, it's a really nice game to play because I literally don't have to do anything. Someone else you watched was just playing the game, but they went offline. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Who are you watching? Yeah. Yeah, the SpongeBob's are not going to be winning here. Oh, maybe they have been. That's going to cut through most of the chickens, which I'm surprised about. Oh, uh, Stilly Beard. They tried Lord of the Rings battles. Oh, nice. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, I've, I've done, of course, the classic. Sauron uh, is 50k HP. That's insane. Actually, just scrolling through the mods, I think I found that exact mod uh, with Sauron, so that's good. 
Yeah, of course, I've I've done the classic, uh, what was it, 300 Spartans versus what, 10,000 Persians or something like that. I forget the exact numbers, but uh, yeah, I always get confused by this uh, this app, Steam app. Oh, and the reason I have, uh, yes, I don't have the game sound on right now because uh, the SpongeBob mod, I'll, I'll give you a little sample of why. Uh, yeah, we have to listen to this over and over again. And so that's the reason I have the game muted, because that's hard to listen to for an extended period of time. Okay, I think it's safe to say that SpongeBob's gonna win. Uh, so I say we just start nuking things and uh, move on. How do you, what do you guys think? A couple thousand archers pinging him with arrows and acting like it was nothing. Oh, nice. Sure, okay. This has now become a war, not against chickens and SpongeBob, but against chicken SpongeBob versus me. <laughs> Love watching them fly away. Wee. I made a custom unit that's pretty OP, uh, which I'll show off probably on the next battle. So we'll do, we'll get some samurais going, and then we'll then I'll show off this unit I created. Okay, now that this battlefield is sufficiently irradiated, let's go see what other units are available. Uh, okay, maybe no, maybe medieval Mongolian soldier. No, that's not a samurai. Tree. No. no, I doubt it'd be fun. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it doesn't look like it's in the base game, but I will check the Steam store. So that's what the workshop, I guess. Workshop. Okay, there is a samurai. That's awesome. Okay. Let's we have to like reload this to Okay. I'm gonna close and reopen the game. Uh okay. It's actually gonna grab two more other things too. Okay, there we go. Okay, I have a second mod, which we can explore in a minute as well. Okay. Perfect. And we got a samurai, so that's good. There we go. And sound should be going through now, so there we go. Perfect. Okay. Samurai. I'll put the two mod units against each other, sure. <laughs> Samurai versus Shrek. Uh, let's make a smaller scale battle so this finishes in a reasonable amount of time. Uh, but yeah, if anybody wants to suggest the numbers, then just let me know. Uh, I guess we'll do an even 10,000 versus 10,000. We'll put that, we'll put the samurai over here. I guess this is kind of like a swap. And just for fun, we'll do some free range chickens as well. Kind of on their own team over here. On the, let's make a three way battle. There we go. Now I feel like we need something in the middle. So let's see, what else can we put in the middle? Let's put. Oh, I know. One ostrich. There we go. Perfect. Back. 154. Okay, I'm excited for this battle. So who do you think is gonna win? Okay, so in this quarter we have Shrek. In this quarter we have the Samurai. Wow, Shrek is huge. Uh, in this quarter we have the uh, chickens, and in the middle there he is. There is the ostrich. I want to see like a <laughs> hundred World War Two guys versus one K Samurai. Okay, we'll do that next. Okay, here we go. So Shrek is just destroying the samurai. Shrek must be really strong. Hold on. Wow. Okay, yeah. Shrek has a lot of health. Okay. But the chickens are slowly getting murdered as well, so that's okay. <laughs> the ostrich did not last for very long.
I was not expecting Shrek to be this strong. <laughs> 